Welcome back to Flank 6 channel. Uh, it's been quite some time and I am excited to get to the late pledge here for Odolin Dungeons of Doom. This is my guide here on how to get through the late pledge. Um, and uh, we'll just kind of jump right into it. Let me know in the comments uh, down below if you have any questions. Of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Always appreciate the support. So if you are not familiar with uh, GameFound, we're going to quickly do an example of what that is. And then we'll basically go through the pledge levels, add-ons, uh, the promotions, and uh, and that's pretty much about it for today. So we'll start off with a quick example. If you are new to GameFound, you're going to need to make an account to log, uh, to log in um, and be able to... Uh, order items so make sure to go that it's pretty typical type stuff you know get an email password that kind of stuff and then you are ready to go type in odolin um odolin dungeons of doom and it'll be right there which you can then select to get to this page here and this is what it will look like if you are a late pledge backer um, and let's see what the options are down below. So there's a little bit of information here. We have a rule book up at the top if you want to check that out. But let's uh, quickly look here. So the first thing you're going to do is select whatever kind of reward you want. Um, if you want to learn more about the rewards, continue watching my video. But basically, you're going to pick one of these rewards, either an all-in, core box, extended campaign, full immersion. Um, or if for some reason you just don't want any of those individual things, maybe you just want like one of the miniature packs. Or maybe you want just Abaddon, the Lord of Hell. You can also just select that type of reward. Um, and you can add it to your order. All you do is click the add pledge and let's pretend we are going to get the core box here. Um, and then it's going to open up a dialogue box like this with uh, your quantity. It'll tell you a little bit about what's inside. Um, and then there'll be an option of, do you want the items in there painted or unpainted? Um, we'll go into more detail, but real quick, the answer is if you pick painted, the large miniatures in that box will come uh, full color uh, painted. Um, otherwise, you would set, select the unpainted option. If you want the painted, of course, there's an upcharge, uh, $99 for the core box, um, but that is an option there. You click confirm. Um, and then that will add to your pledge. Uh, and if you are done at this point, you can go to submit your pledge um, and then it'll take you to shipping and uh, your payment after that. And you will just pay uh, from that point on. Um, and then after you have submitted your pledge later on, most likely near the end of this year, um, early next year or so we will open up the pledge uh the pledge manager so this is the late pledge basically this is the opportunity to still pick up items if you miss the original campaign um, otherwise the pledge manager you can still add items there but the difference is you will also pay for your shipping so if you close your order now you can do that you can pay for your items uh now but then you will have to come back later to do your shipping. Um, and of course, you know, there'll be plenty of reminder emails and everything to let you know, especially when it's open, but it's uh, good to, you know, kind of have that. Um, anyway, so then you can also select other add-ons if you wanted that as well and just uh, add those there or go back to continue browsing as an alternate option. But in short, that's kind of how it works. Um, it's pretty simple. I think um, GameFound has done a really great job of keeping the process very simple um, for people that you know don't really know too much about crowdfunding um, and makes it more of like a store experience. Although I will caveat it right with um, this is a crowdfunding site, which means you are supporting a company. Um, realize the uh, the vision of whatever product it is they're providing. This is just me saying, you know, as a general person, right, that has backed other crowdfunding campaigns as well, not just our stuff. Um, 
and uh, you are backing that company and you are picking rewards that will align with your support of that company. Um, and usually we kind of tell you what it is. We give you an estimated date as when to arrive, which is usually pretty far in the future, which is different than most you know normal uh, retail sites would be. Um, and then of course, you know, you're, you're paying those shipping at different times. Uh, but just to also reiterate, right, that estimated date is an estimate. So very often in crowdfunding, things can be later than what the original estimate is. Um, that doesn't mean that it's not coming. It's just that it may be, uh, uh a little bit later, um, and then uh, then you will receive your items all just uh, basically like a Christmas present of uh, probably a bunch of boxes <laughs> or big boxes um, and uh, be able to enjoy it then. But anyway, that's a little quick thing about uh, GameFound um, and crowdfunding in general. Um, let's look here at one of the pledge options, and I'm going to do this one first uh, because... This one is actually only a visible to late pledge backers. Um, nobody else, if you back the campaign earlier, will see this. Uh, so this is specific to them. Basically what this is, is the late pledge all in. Um, so during that campaign, we had a, a pledge level called the Odolin uh, all in pledge. In that one, it provided everything that we offered during the campaign. Um, and you could get, you know, all of it at like a bundled uh, rate. The late pledge all in is that plus the, uh, I believe it is the two, at least two additional items or three additional items that we offered in the pledge manager, or sorry, the late pledge, which is what we're the phase we're in now um, after that campaign. Now, a lot of these things were p things that people had asked for, for, you know, either more tokens, they wanted uh, sleeves. Um, we also added like a sun drop option. We're going to get into that. But anyway, if you want absolutely everything, Odolin, this is going to be the pledge for you. Um, and it doesn't show anything there because I've kind of done a funny thing of multiple levels. Um, but you can just click the add pledge. It will uh, add uh, the items and kind of ask you all these questions. So the price that's shown here, which I think is a good good rem reminder to people, that's like the entry point price. That's not necessarily the final price, but that's the entry level price that uh, that will be there depending on what you pick. So if you choose not to do a lot of the options, then that will be the price you pay. If you add things on, it's going to cost uh, more, of course. So we have things like the all-in foreteller. If you want that, that's $20. Um, if you want the uh, hell dragon that's in there, there you can get the hell dragon um, as part of this. The hell dragon is separate, partially because it has to do with um, returning backers getting this item separately. And so how it's it's structured, you would have to add this on separately. Um, and so if you don't want the Hell Dragon uh, add-on, um, which of course I'll, I'll talk about soon, uh, then you would select no. Otherwise you have the unpainted or painted option on there. Uh, and then the painting options, the full large minis painted. So basically this is uh, all of the miniatures, uh, the large miniatures painted, which is all the demons um, and uh, the, the large other size uh, characters. Uh, they will be painted uh, except for the hell dragon. Um, that one, like we mentioned up here is a separate uh, item. So it's everything else um, is that one. Then there is a sun drop uh, only. This is uh, uh, an add-on that uh, puts a wash on all of your miniatures. Um, and then the last one is the, the large mini painted plus the other sun drop. So the idea is you can get those large miniatures painted and your other one, all of the rest of the miniatures with a sun drop type wash. Um, and, uh, I mean, I just call it a wash. I think most people probably do too. It just enhances the details of the miniature. And then the last thing is languages. So if you add on a language pack, like let's say, you know, you're going to 
choose German, um, then that would be, you know, another cost. And uh, in addition, this includes everything, right, for, for all of the content. Um, and you would uh, receive that language pack uh, as part of your order. Okay. Uh, and then it lists all the items that are on here. We're going to get all those, but otherwise you would confirm. And then that's it. So that is the late pledge. That is a um, new one that we've added uh, to the pledge manager. Only shows up as a late pledge backer um, because we have uh, basically uh, made it. So there is a slight cost increase if you're a late pledge versus if you are a previous uh, backer during the campaign trying to give you know the backers of the campaign uh, as much uh, support as possible but um, it's you know it's slightly higher than it would be um, you know if you back previously all right so let's look at the other items um, and let's see if I can get it to work correctly now all right so I am logged in so now let's view this as if you were a um, as if you were a backer from the campaign and now you're getting into the late pledge, you should already have whatever items you purchased previously on your order. But if you want to change it, you can always go to uh, manage your pledge um, and then be able to make those changes or add items on and it'll change. Or if you want to go back, you can always revert your changes. So I'm actually going to revert my pledge uh, to the start here so you can kind of see um, what process I'm going to take as I explain this uh, but I had picked the Odolin all in um, and this item here the free gift of Kron, the master of a thousand faces um, I'll explain very soon here uh, but anyway that is um, an item that was specifically added for anyone that was a follower of the campaign before it started or even during it started. So basically we ended up just giving it for free to pretty much people that had backed during the campaign because of some issues with how GameFound um, did the, the, the system. We didn't realize that you could essentially still follow during the campaign and get the reward, which kind of defeated the point of the pre-campaign. Um, that was just an oversight <clears throat> that we didn't know really uh, existed. but. Anyway, we'll we'll talk more. Um, but gates of uh, gates of hell. That is the first pledge level, five dollars. Um, I'd say if you're kind of getting into this, probably unlikely you're going to pick this one because you could always just kind of wait till later. Um, this would just basically remind you uh, additionally that the pledge manager is coming. Uh, of course, you're going to get the digital rewards for like uh, the the wallpaper that we're going to provide. Um, and uh, anyway, that, that's it. This is the most basic thing. Uh, probably most people won't be selecting this during this time, but that is an option there. All right, then the I'd say the first real pledge is the core box here. So the core box is the main game here of Odolin Dungeons of Doom. You are going to be getting the Act 1 box plus the core box extra. So this is like the stretch goals that come in that core box. There's those digital add-on that we talked about uh, before. Getting your campaign book, rule book, campaign log. You're gonna get eight heroes in this box. So there's quite a few heroes actually in um, the game as option. You will play up to four heroes at one time. Um, you don't have to play four. There is a, a minimum of two heroes uh, to play the game. Um, and then basically you can add on uh, like these um, amulets of power that kind of help you out. But anyway, uh, so it's uh, up to four possible players playing the game. We have double layer boards, 90 plus tokens, uh, a bunch of plastic cubes that are used for tracking different things in the game. Um, 810 cards, different sizes. So we have some of those demon hero cards that are going to overlap, items, villain cards, <coughs> sorry, demon cards uh, that will um, be used by you and they're double-sided on there as well. Um, so balance track, 
Um, now there has been some changes to the balance track. So this is an older pitcher um, and we added like the hack and slash, which has actually become uh, uh, much more popular now. Uh, so there is some alternate options. So this was, you know, the original offering. Some things will change slightly from, from what we have here, um, but still it's, it's pretty much, you know, the same kind of content you're gonna get. Uh, 18 room tiles, double-sided. There's a few uh, different options in there for kind of your coloring, um, but it's still, you know, so there, there's a certain number, right, that you can really get with 18 tiles. So, um, well, that, that number being 36 specifically. <laughs> um, but anyway, so there's 36 uh, tiles there, or 36 sides, um, sorry on that one. Um, and then uh, 33 dice will come in the box. So you actually get a pretty good amount of uh, dice there. Four mystery boxes. The mystery boxes could contain miniatures. It could contain other cards. Um, it could contain, I mean, really a lot of different things. I think we offered some hints during the campaign. So if you check out the updates, you may kind of get some other ideas of, of things that uh, could be in there. Um, there's 35 medium uh, miniatures that will be in there. Uh, a lot of these are the heroes, and then we have uh, some of the you know, villain ones here. Uh, then you are seeing the five large miniatures. So when I mentioned earlier about having large miniatures, these would be ones that would come pre-painted. Um, so all of these are demon characters, well, except for the center one. The other ones are demon characters that you will play. The center one is the Jin, who uh, is a um, enemy character. But anyway, um, so there's lots in the core box and then in the stretch goal content. Um, we'll, uh, well, let, let's, let's check it out real quick. So the stretch goals down here. Okay, so if you go back, uh, so on the, the main page here, um, you can click a button that says view original campaign. So that's what I did. Um, and then you click stretch goals um, and that will describe here like what some of them are. A lot of them of course are miniatures. Um, we have uh, other ones that are like new loot, accessories, a um, lot even more miniatures. We have uh, other demons uh, that were added. Um, I, well, I think it's one extra demon is added. Some of these ones are being able to fight uh, the demon as an enemy. So you're going to pick, um, you know, your hero demon combination to use during the game. But then it's possible you could run into uh, another demon, one that you're not playing, obviously, um, as an enemy that you will fight. Um, there is consumable uh, cards in there. Um, yeah, here, here's uh, more. Basically, every single demon has an option to be as an enemy. Um, there's more secret boxes, elite enemies, um, and, uh, and then an, some other uh, tile types and uh, some additional miniatures on, on top of uh, what was offered previously. But that is uh, a little bit about what is in some of the stretch goals that come into the game. All right, so we're back now. Uh, so that is the core box uh, pledge option um, with the core box stretch goals uh, box. All right, then the next uh, up from there is the expanded campaign. Basically, this gives you the Act 1 and Act 2 box uh, along with the Manticore uh, miniature. And then, of course, you get that uh, Stretch Goals box. Um, and this will also include Stretch Goals for Act 2 as well. So you can kind of see what's in here a little bit. Well, really, it's a lot of the same kind of content. And then here is that uh, one huge miniature for the Manticore um, that also comes in there. Uh, okay, so here is what is in the expansion box for Act 2. So Act 2 is like a continuation of the story from Act 1, uh, but basically you're getting that Manticore because that's part of the, the pledge there. Um, you are getting uh, a bunch of these Dark Priests, Lords of Death, some Imps, Vulture Demons, bunch of other miniatures here. 
um, and then uh, some even other great content. And of course, you're going to get another storybook right with that. Um, so that is act two. Um, and then if we go further down here, now each of these pledges um, will tell you some of the additional things. So of what's in there. So there, it'll explain each of the, the options. Um, and this is what I was describing earlier about painted or unpainted options. Uh, but anyway, that is the expanded uh, campaign. Next up is the full immersion pledge. Um, in short, it includes everything that was in the last pledge with the addition of the scenario pack. I'll talk about that soon. Deluxe dice pack. Uh, and then you will get the uh, one of the demon packs, um, which is the lust and wrath pack. Um, but anyway, so that is the full immersion and then the last one is the all in, um, which let's look at that one. So we have, uh, and just for clarity too. So sometimes people refer, uh, refer to the act two boxes, uh, Odolin sands of destruction. Cause that's the, the name of the second pack. Um, but then we have other items in here, such as the other demon pack, two hero packs, those dice, art books, scenario pack, a special storage box, tiles, um, Abaddon miniature, of course, that mana core, uh, K run the uh, Master of Thousand Faces, dice tray, um, and then uh, there's even the uh, foreteller as an add on uh, in there that you can select. The reason why we did that is because not everybody speaks English or, or at least listens to even English, right? Um, so we have it as uh, an add-on in there if uh, that's something that you want. Okay, so um, let's go into add-ons now where we can talk more about each of the individual items. Um, let's start off with the individual miniatures and then we'll kind of get into the next subject. So we have K-Run, Master of a Thousand Faces. Basically what he is is another hero option. Um, so he has uh, been able to get mastery over other heroes attacks for unique combinations. Um, and if you don't choose him, uh, he could appear as a villain. So you still have a use for this miniature as a villain uh, character if you didn't play this hero. So that's a pretty cool option there. Um, then we have Abaddon, the Lord of Hell. Um, he is, of course, the uh, main antagonist here of the Odolin story. Um, he will show up a little bit in Act 1, but primarily into Act 2. But this is just a fantastic uh, model. Um, I have the uh, prototype version here, so you can kind of see what he looks like. Um, very awesome miniature, of course. Um, you know, there's some other people that have done some great videos as well. So if you want to see even, you know, probably better detail explain, there's, uh, those as well, but this is the Abaddon miniature. So you can kind of see a little bit what he looks like, but he is, uh, available as an individual add-on. I'll talk about the promotions near the end, uh, and how you could, uh, get him for free, especially if you had backed at the beginning of the campaign. Um, all right, and then there is one more individual miniature option, and that is the Hell Dragon. Uh, so the Hell Dragon is this awesome, huge miniature. He is impaling that demon. Um, so yeah, no no friend of demons either, uh, nor nor heroes. Uh, but the Hell Dragon miniature provides not just even a miniature; it also includes components to use this character in uh in a boss fight in the game of Teneris as well will contain components like attack cards hero pad i think hero card um to use the core box heroes of odolin in Teneris. Uh, so you'll be able to use them for pvp or uh, pve i believe is the idea now that could potentially change but i i'm pretty sure that's that's the intent here uh, but that is the uh, Hell Dragon, pretty awesome miniature and add-on there. All right, so let's get into the uh, hero packs, and then we'll come back uh, to what's next. 
Um, there is some like uh, prototype or renders that you can see on the page. Um, <clears throat> I won't go into those here, um, but you can check those out. They are pretty awesome and um, look look pretty good. But this is the first uh, pack here, hero pack, Heroes of War. This includes four new heroes, Lyra the Death Knight, Mordak the Blackguard, Ardia the Templar, and Durek the Dwarven Warrior. Um, so each of them will play very differently. Um, so like Durek the Dwarven Warrior is your kind of like your tank-like character. Ardia uh, is a very much like him, but... Um, with a kind of different play on it where she's staving off corruption uh, for her and her allies. Um, then we have Mordak the, uh, Mordak the Blackguard, a master of wielding corruption. While he remains on the edge of losing control, he has unmatched strength. Um, and then on uh, kind of combined with him will be the uh, able to gain power from killing enemies. She is a force of death on the battlefield. So they're going to play uh, similar to each other um, in the way that they kind of fit a certain role within the team. But they are uh, different hero characters. So you're going to get the four hero miniatures. You're going to get the, uh, the card hero tiles to use and then the cards that go along with those heroes so that is the heroes of war pack next pack is the heroes of magic pack um, so i'd say this one's probably a little more traditional fantasy than necessarily dark fantasy uh, but in this pack you're also getting four more um heroes now this one these ones are more spellcaster focus versus the other ones i'd say maybe more martial uh physical arts type of focus <laughs> generally so right <laughs> not exactly but you know generally um so we have vorath the lich he cannot take the world if the demons do it first so this hero this once hero's great foe will now use his dark magic to aid them so we have the Lich, uh, and then alongside with her, will uh, him will be Selene, the Elf Wizard, with a wide array of unique effects. Selene can use her versatile magic to shape the battlefield to her advantage. Um, so some cool abilities to kind of change up the um, the battlefield specifically. Uh, Darum, the High Priest, a versatile support character who can wear heavy or light armor, bless allies, and stand at the forefront of battle. So kind of doing a lot of different things there, that High Priest, um, while also still being able to heal. And then the backside of, uh, with him would be Balin, the half, Halfling Druid. Um, together with his trusted companion, Draco, he fights to protect nature, blending his magic with his mount's powerful bite attack. Uh, so you actually, yeah, um, I don't have it here, but, uh, well, actually you, you can see the art basically is, uh, yeah, a halfling riding like a dinosaur. <laughs> um, so kind of a interesting, unique take on a different, very different type of character, um, within the world of Odolin. So like I said, this one's coming with four more heroes, um, 80 cards, and then the four hero, uh, tiles that go into the mats. All right, so that is the Heroes of Magic add-on. Let's move on to the two demon packs. Uh, so we have the demon pack here. Um, this one is Lust and Wrath. Uh, so remember, these are bigger miniatures, right? They're not um, the same size as the heroes. Uh, so they fit two by two squares. Um, and... Uh, Basically, they'll give your heroes more options of other demons that you could turn into. <clears throat> and very much like what was uh, I described earlier of um, demons and, uh, or sorry, with the heroes that uh, could be villains. Uh, there's also that for demons. Um, so kind of like what was mentioned in the stretch goals. So if you own these, then you're getting some even more villains that you could potentially fight as well. Um, or, you know, of course, combined with. So the description needs to be updated, but basically it's a start day here. Um, so that one I think I actually showed in my gameplay video. Uh, and then this one here, um, I'm forgetting what his name is right now. Uh, I think it's like the, uh, like the Diablo or something like that. But 
Um, very, very uh, cool looking character here. He's kind of got like this, uh, uh, like these long spikes that come out of his arm. Um, but anyway, that is the Lust and Wrath Demon Pack. Um, and then we have Hunger and Darkness here. This is another Demon Pack with two different miniatures. So last one will come with... Uh, I guess I probably should have mentioned, it really it's the same thing on, on both just different characters, right? So uh, you're going to get those two miniatures, then you're going to get the the card, the demon card with them, and then, the, uh, which is the gold size card, the bigger one, and then you're going to get all those demon cards that overlay with your hero's abilities. Um, so that is all of those. Uh, so this pack specifically, Hunger and Darkness, this comes with um, two, uh, Magira, the Dark Lady, the Demon of Night and Darkness, curses enemies and protects her allies, making her a powerful support demon. And then we have Gorgonus, the Hunter, a fearsome predator. Gorgonus hunts the battlefield, devouring enemies to gain strength. This demon will terrorize his foes as he teleports around the battlefield to consume them. Uh, that sounds pretty awesome. So 22 cards uh, in there and then the those two large miniatures. So that is the demon pack. So let's move now to our cosmetic uh, add-ons. I could have just done this sequentially, but I figure it's probably a little bit better to kind of discuss, you know, types of items. So let's first go to the scenario pack. So all of these items in here are things that um, kind of help with either the immersion or kind of fit, um, you know, just a very nice cosmetic look, but it doesn't necessarily change anything about the gameplay like the uh, everything else that I've mentioned previous. Uh, so the scenario pack here, this is going to give you uh, 3D terrain elements. Um, so you can get like the little campfire that's shown on the main page. Um, actually, I think, I think I could be wrong. I think maybe the original box could come with that. I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to check on that one, but this one comes with 28, uh, miniatures. Um, and it's going to come with even like some of the doors, uh, that slot in to, uh, between the different room tiles. So it's actually a pretty, pretty cool thing there. Um, and basically, this is going to give you that, that 3T view of the room. So you got orbs, you got the traps, you got um, some of the chests and barrels and other things that would exist in the world. So instead of just using the cardboard token, um, now you will have the cardboard. You still have the cardboard tokens, but you, you also have the um, those miniature pieces as well. Okay, um, next up cosmetic add-on is the special tiles pack. Um, this one, of course, also purely cosmetic, uh, but it includes 36 new tiles. So it basically um, more than doubles uh, uh, the amount of tiles that you have available. So 72 unique rooms that you'll have to explore. All the backgrounds will change. Um, and the scenario book will even um, tell you what tiles to use if you own this pack. So if you want the, the very thematic um, dungeon that you are specifically in, that will have it set up and it'll tell you uh, how to use it. So there is a lot of different rooms there um, and uh, a lot of different uh, view. But like I said, this is a cosmetic add-on. All right, then we have the Deluxe Acrylic Tokens. Um, there are, uh, the description doesn't say in here, but it is about 80 tokens that's going to be, uh, in this pack. This number may vary depending on if we add some other conditions or other tokens, uh, in there, but, um, this kind of gives you the idea of, you know, kind of where we're at in terms of the, uh, amount of tokens. So you're going to get, uh, tokens for all, of course, all those conditions, like I said, positive and negative. You're going to get tokens for the different kinds of villains uh, that you have. Um, but pretty much all of those those little punch-out tokens that if you saw my, my previous video or you've seen some of the other uh, things in there, it's going to cover pretty much like every token in the game. Um, so, And this will come as an acrylic item um, that I believe is already like a colored, so it's not going to be like a, 
uh, I think like a transparent or anything. I think it's just like a colored item. But that is the deluxe uh, uh, acrylic tokens pack. Um, <clears throat> and then the last thing, this one is also cosmetic. Um, but, uh, and, and it kind of varies depending on which item. So those two things are the painted option, uh, which I kind of described a little bit already, but let's look at one of the items here. So let's pretend that I wanted the hell dragon, uh, individually. I could select the hell dragon quantity and then I can pick the different options. So I could get him painted or with the sun drop is which I'm going to you know describe here really soon. Um, but basically the hell dragon, um, uh, or a lot of the miniatures, right? Have these options of getting it painted. So like we described before, you could get him, uh, painted or unpainted. And then the sun drop is another option that we offer. Um, this kind of gives a little bit of an idea. All right. So this part here, uh, on the campaign page shows, um, and it's about mid, almost mid, a little bit higher than midway through. Uh, it shows you some of those options. So here is like a painted option versus kind of the unpainted. Now I will say that this picture on the right, right, is a digital render. So it is kind of enhanced to kind of show some of the details a little bit better. Um, and in some ways I'd say it's almost kind of shows you a little bit like what that wash really would look like. But we do have another picture below. And, and also, by the way, this is... Um, you know, some of the, the stretch goal items there. So you're getting more heroes, um, in the boxes. Uh, there's that extra demon, um, and other types, the slaughter demon, hook zealot, all that good stuff. There's a centaur that we even added. Um, anyway, ton tons of other miniatures there. And... Here we go. Here's kind of the, the comparison of the finish options. Uh, so this is without the painted there on the Abaddon. Um, it's probably a little closer to what it would look like. The, the version I have here, we did um, a Zenithal Prime to kind of get enhance that, right? So you can see it better. So that's probably a little bit closer to what a Sundrop is going to do. Not exactly, uh, but kind of similar type of effect. Um, now I'm sure XR is probably already, you know, going crazy over there, but <laughs> anyway, uh, this gives you a little idea of the sun drop versus the without paint option. You can see a lot more of the details on his chest, um, a lot on his armor. Some of the spikes really kind of enhances. Now this, this is all digital recreations. This isn't actual pictures of it. Um, it's a lot better to see real life versions of, uh, what, you know, a unpainted and then like a washed uh, or sun drop versus a painted looks like. Um, if you haven't seen those, I do have some videos of some of our previous painted options for Tenaris. We've actually never done sun drop before. This is the first time that we're doing it. Um, and, uh, but they have done a fabulous job with the painted in the past, which is, uh, why we're, we're, you know, considering, of course, because many people had asked for this item because there's a lot of people that just, you know, want to be able to just get playing the game and not even have to paint, uh, and just get going. But anyway, this is the painted option. So you kind of see the full color options, um, there. All right. So that is the miniature enhancement that finishes our cosmetic add-on section. Um, now let's jump back to the add-ons. Um, now we're going to go over the accessories. These are purely just additions to the game. You don't, don't necessarily need these unless that's really, you know, what you want. Um, but we have the sleeve pack here. This comes with 1400 sleeves of all the different card sizes. So we have the poker size, which is essentially your standard, um, you know, playing card game size. You have the mini Euro, which are like the small cards. Uh, and then there is the gold, which is like a larger size uh, card. <coughs> it's also the same uh, size that we use for villain cards from Tenaris uh, Ultimate, if you're familiar with that. Um, all right, so that's the sleeve pack there. So that should give you enough to sleeve everything in the game. Um, 
it's for you know basically all in there's not any different options this is just one option for everything so if you got you know just the core box but you wanted the sleeves then you should have enough to you know sleeve for any other game uh that you own um and you know it, it's all standard sizes right so it, it does very easily work for other games all right, uh, the next one is the dice tray. Um, not too much to say on this other than it does have, uh, it's going to have some cool artwork of uh, Odolin on there in the bottom. Um, original dice tray for Tenaris actually is pretty good quality. It's very thick with some good uh, buttons there. Um, and uh, it's rolled pretty well. I've been using it recently. Uh, definitely enjoy it. But this one is the one for Odolin and has uh, artwork for that. So that is an option as well. Next up in uh, the accessories, I'd say this one is probably the one that if you if you buy um, you know Act One and Act Two, I'd highly suggest getting this. Uh, so it's an it's technically an accessory, but I think it will be very helpful. It's nine dollars. Um, but basically what this does is provides you enough room for all of the components of the game, including all the add-ons that we've been discussing already. So it has spots to store all, um, all the components, tray, uh, tray of tokens that can be taken out and placed directly in your table, allowing quick access and organization of all the tokens. Um, that's actually what I've been doing when I've played Odolin. Um, now I don't, you know, I don't have the storage box right now. Right. So I'm just using like a, a special, um, well, not even really special. It's, it's just a, a box that I bought from like Hobby Lobby, um, for holding like little pieces. Um, and I'm sure the official storage will be way better than that. But, uh, and then we'll have a storage guide included in there and it'll tell you exactly where everything goes, but this should fit everything. Um, including, so it says you'll be able to store all, all content of act two, including all add-ons, extra miniatures, like the new heroes, demons, Abaddon, as well, as well as everything we unlock in stretch goals in a neatly organized way. Um, so this is great, especially if you got the act two, um, to store everything together there. All right, so that is storage box add-on. It is an accessory, but a very good one at that. Um, and then we have the four teller uh, add-on. I do have a video if you want to check it out of uh, where I talk about how to set up playing um, Tenaris Ultimate with four teller. Basically, what four teller is is like an audio companion app um, where you will. Uh, be able to listen to the narrative of the game instead of reading it. And it's done with professional voice actors, music, sound effects, um, and it's all in that app. So then you can um, you can even select the different options. So like you were playing the game, you can select it in the app and it'll jump to those different sections and then start playing that audio. So that way uh, you can kind of just continue on in the adventure. Don't have to be flipping through pages. Um, in that, we have two different options that, for this. We have Foreteller Book um, 1, which is basically your core box, Act 1. Um, if you pick this one, then that will give you all the content for the core box of Odolin. Um, and then the second option is Foreteller Bundle, which is uh, the first book plus the second book. So Act 1 and 2 together, which of course is the, the complete uh, story there. Um, that is, uh, the second option. You'll notice that there's no way to get just two by itself because the way we've set it up to prevent people from accidentally, um, correctly, uh, incorrectly choosing items was that you always have to get one. Um, so that way you have the components because the second box doesn't have all the basic components. It just has more miniatures, more story, uh, and some other components to play the game, but it's, but it doesn't include the base parts of the game. That's why you need the core box. Anyway, so that is the four teller atom. Really great addition. If you haven't checked out uh, the Tenaris one, um, you can see that on my channel. Of course, I'm sure uh, plenty of other people have that as well and can also describe it to you. All right, uh, then let's jump to the Odolin art book, which I think I went the wrong direction. 
uh, the art book, we call it an art book, although I would say it may be a little bit towards a art book slash lore book um, because there was quite a few snippets that Michael made of different uh, characters and lore of the story while he was doing the campaign. People really, really like that um, and they wanted that to you know, be included as well. Um, so it will be a art book with uh, all the fantastic art that we use and some of that lore um, will be added in there as well. So you can learn more about that world and of course, uh, it's a nice little art book to look at. <coughs> so that is another accessory that we have available. Finally, one more thing, and this one is not one that even really applies to everyone, um, but just depending on your situation. So we have the language packs. Um, the language packs, we have two different options. There is the core box only, which of course, you know, is the act one box by itself. Um, and then we have the uh, language pack um, all in uh, or all content, um, basically act one and act two. So you'll get the content in both uh, languages. Let's just look to see what it is um, to add it. So you would select, you know, one of the add-ons that you want. And then it will select, uh, you, you would pick which language you want. If you want English, don't select the language pack at all. You won't need it. The base, base language of the game um, is uh, English. Um, so there you go. Um, that is all of the accessories now. So the last things to go over. Um, and we're going to have to look here at my pledge so you can kind of see what it is and well actually let's let's uh walk over it so i have the odolin all in already selected um one of the things i am going to add which is one of our promotions is the day one gift this was if you backed on that first day you got the day one gift which was the abaddon miniature now this gift it's a little more complicated than that uh, it's, it, if you already backed right, you, this is only available to somebody that backed during the campaign. Uh, it says, it should say $0. You have to select this add-on. It's not at automatically in your order. You select, you add it, and then it'll, you know, ask you what gift do you want? Um, so there's actually multiple options. You could get the Abaddon miniature, like, you know, what we offered. You could get the acrylic tokens for free. Um, or you could get the sleeves at a discount. Uh, so instead of the, I believe, a $49.99 uh, on that one, you get the sleeves. Um, if you want the Hell Dragon, you can get that one as a discount. Or if you want the Hell Dragon painted, you can get that. Um, so I'm actually going to select the acrylic tokens, and I'll explain um, here really soon as to why I'm picking that option. All right, so you'll see day one gift is added to your order. Um, and then I'm going to continue browsing. Um, next up is there is another promotion, the Hell Dragon Returning Backer Gift. Um, this one is if you were a previous returning backer, we've already put it into the system. <coughs> so if, um, if, if you're a late pledge, and you go create an account, use the same email you had in Kickstarter during our previous campaigns. Um, and then uh, basically these options should show up to you. If you don't see them, then that means you didn't qualify for either the day one um, or the returning backer. If you think that's a mistake, especially I'd say with that returning backer uh, add-on, you can reach out to our customer service at contact at dragorygames.com and uh, we'll check into that and see if you actually do qualify and then be able to get it. Basically a returning backer is someone that has backed us in a previous campaign um, and this is how we try to reward you for continuing to back us in future campaigns as we give you uh, free add-ons. Um, so you can get the Hell Dragger, uh, Hell Dragon for returning back our gift. Um, like I said before, it comes with that miniature, the components to play, uh, the core box heroes of Odolin in Tenaris. Um, and basically you're just going to add that. 
and then you can choose whether you want it unpainted or painted. Um, now me, I am have already previously picked uh, all painted, so I would pick um, painted for myself, um, but you could add whichever you know one uh, interests you. Um, all right, so that is two of the items, uh, and those are the promotions. There's Well, there's one more promotion, um, and then I'm going to come back to kind of finishing out uh, this order. Um, but the last thing is the K-Run Master of Thousand Faces. If you were a follower prior to the beginning of the campaign or you followed during the campaign, Basically, this should already be on your order. You'll see that it has this like lock where it says you can't remove this item because it's a free gift. Um, it should already be on your order. So if you know you didn't you know follow previously, then you would need to add this or if you have an all in, it will already be basically included. Um, I had seen a few people ask um, specifically about like some of the discounts and things. There was a discount for the day one gift, but that's really about it. This is one that we even ended up actually including for a lot of people that just back during the campaign for free. Um, so this was basically already kind of the gift in itself. So there's not really a um, another you know value to that. Um, Okay, and then for me, the last thing to get, um, and this is, you know, in, at the same time, it's kind of the reminder of the the gifts, or sorry, the, the new things. So if you backed in the campaign, right, and you selected Odolin All In, that included, um, and let's, let's uh, look here at the page so you can see, it's a little bit easier when you see it. So in here, you'll see all the items that include. So I added in the Foreteller add-on. Um, it comes with all of these things, which are all those hero demon packs. You know, everything that we talked actually about earlier. It also includes Abaddon, the Lord of Hell, and it includes Chiron, the Master of a Thousand Faces. So those are already part of the all-in. Um, so you really don't need to add uh, another one. Um, it will already basically be in there. Um, and then, um, uh, and then, so, so why I added that day one gift is acrylic tokens was instead of me just getting a second, um, Abaddon miniature, instead, I'm going to essentially just make that acrylic token, uh, free. So if you didn't do what I did, let's say you want to add on miniatures, which of course you could always do, because who doesn't need more cool miniatures like that, right? Um, then you would select that, or you can get a discount on sleeves. Monetarily wise, it's the exact same amount, so it doesn't really matter which one you select. You're not getting any better value by selecting one or the over other. It's really just whatever your preference is. Um, so if you don't need the sleeves, then you don't even really need to add this at all. Um, I'm just selecting the acrylic token, so I don't need to select the acrylic tokens later. Um, one other thing I probably should have quickly mentioned about the Hell Dragon for returning backers. If you were not a returning backer, there was a previous bug where some people could add it. Um, if you uh, have that on your order... There's a very good possibility it's going to cause an error in the system later. Um, so <laughs> uh, you may want to either correct your order now, otherwise you, there might be a delay in your order when we try to send it and it tries to send, you know, to, uh, or it tries to send you an item that isn't actually like attached to your order because we put the emails um, in the system. So. Um, anyway, I'd suggest you know trying to get that fixed if uh, if for some reason it it aired. Otherwise, if you have questions on that, of course, reach out to uh, customer service. Um, and then, so I added basically almost everything here. I think I'm almost there. So uh, the only other thing I was going to add right was the sleeves add-on and. One more thing, which was the Sundrop 
um, which there is the two options, right? So you can get sun drop for everything. Or if you've been selecting painted uh, items, right? Um, then you want to select this lower level painted. So it's it, the idea is it's a little bit cheaper because you're not painting all the large miniatures. You're painting um, just the, the smaller miniatures. So that's why it's a, a cheaper option. Um, if you don't want anything painted, but you want it all sun drop, then you would select this one. But I'm going to select the uh, sun drop for painted all in. Click uh, submit my pledge. Then I'm going to come here, check my order. And this should be about the amount there that is uh, correct. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that is the uh, late pledge. Basically, what I just go through is kind of filling out my details. I'm not going to go show, uh, you know, all my personal details, but it has all your shipping information or your, your address information. You're going to pay for it. Uh, and then basically you complete your pledge. And uh, that's about it. Anyway, hope that was helpful for you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have questions, definitely leave a comment. I'll try to help uh, answer as much as I can. If you're not familiar with me already, I'm Flanks06. I'm in a lot of the different channels, Discord, um, and uh, the community manager of Dragori Games, trying to help you guys out as best as I can. That is it for today. Um, we'll see you at the next one.